Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And as promised, I said I would make this card. It is from one of my swaps that I did this month. And I just think he is adorable. So it is a quick and easy card. Let me go ahead and show you. We're gonna be using a piece of fresh freesia cut right in half and then scored in half. So when you have your finished base, it's going to be five and a half by four and a quarter. And this is just one standard piece of cardstock. Then I have a piece of basic white and that is five and a quarter by four. So we took a quarter inch off of that. And then we've got our piece of designer series paper. This is from the Halloween and this is an inch and a half, hold, this is an, yes, an inch and a half by five and a quarter. So it's going to match up with this just perfectly. So we've got our pieces. I'm also gonna be using some um, uh, pale papaya and I'm gonna be using the oval duo punch. So we're using the festive and bright stamp set. I'm gonna be using the little witchy poos, the hats there. We've got our tuxedo black memento ink. We've got our spooky. And then we have uh, our little witch's hat there. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead, I put this at an angle on the F block because I just wanted it to fit perfect and it was so easy for me to hold. So see how easy that is? Now I'm gonna get a piece of paper to go under it because I am not in the mood to, um, what am I not in the mood for? I'm not in the mood to rewrite all of this. <laughs> That's really what it is. Okay, let me re-ink this. I went and got talking and we'll just re-ink it. So we're gonna stamp this three different times. And then this is the first time, and I'm gonna go right toward the edge. Get that down on there. There we go. Then I'm gonna just flip that card right over. We're gonna do the same thing. Now I'm going to line up these and they line up so perfectly. Ooh, I flipped that over too. <laughs> so you just move it up a little bit or down and you'll see where it lines up really nicely. And then just go ahead and put that down. There we go. And we're gonna flip it back over. We're gonna do this one more time. I don't, I'm not sure where I'm getting that extra flip. But then again, this is going to fit in there again. And there we go. So we've got that part done. Let's go ahead. I'm going to just grab a piece of basic white and I'm going to take oh, what's going on why can't I grab that and I'm just gonna ink up the one little hat that I want and we're just gonna pop that down get that hat there set that aside for cleaning and now Let's work on our spooky. Gonna get another piece here. We're gonna ink that little spooky up. We're just gonna press down. And there you go. Now, I'm gonna take my double oval punch and Line that guy up.
and I am then going to grab a piece. I didn't grab it before. <laughs> of the oval of the fresh freesia, and I'm going to punch out an oval. You can see all the other ones I did prior. And I just keep that in my file cabinet. If you'd like, I could do a craft room tour later on toward the end of the month because I am going to be traveling. So, we've got all our pieces. We can just go ahead, take this, take our multi-purpose glue and put this right on the Fresh Freesia Oval. I like working with the glue because it gives me time to straighten everything nice and center. Okay, we've got that part, we've got that part. And we have, hold on. I'm like, oh, we'll just put those right there, but then I went and covered them up, right? So hold on. I'm gonna bring that and this back. There we go. Again, you could use this if you'd like. Look how cute that looks. If you wanted to go for the black and white, but I liked the dots and I wanted to bring that in because I'm using all of those colors. And I felt that we had enough black and white. Again, I'm using the mono adhesive because I wanna be able to really line that up. So I can put my fingers there to get the edges and same here and here. And once it's all lined up, we're good to go. And then it's all there, all good. So since I have this out, we're gonna go ahead, put some glue. I think that's the last time we're gonna be using the glue. Well, I just went and remembered the part that I forgot, and that is before you put that down, you're gonna put a ribbon up around it, okay? But of course, I forgot, so let's see what we can do. I can just put a piece like this, right? Because we have to figure it out. Well, I think that's what we'll do. I'm gonna see if it's too late because we're working with the adhesive, right? And nope, it's not too late. I'm gonna be able to stick a little bit of this in there right down the center. Again, if you know me, you know that we are going to make a mistake so I could show you how to fix it. <laughs> and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring that. Don't worry about the extra glue. What do I do with the extra glue? I'm gonna put this down. And we are good. Okay, now we're gonna bring that down. Now I'm, I'm pretty scared about this part, I really am. But we're gonna bring it op open a little bit. If you are a paper crafter and have more experience than I do, please let me know what you would have done in that situation. And I know you probably just wouldn't have done it, <laughs> but you know me. So there we go. I'm gonna tuck that under there. There we go. I was just going to say, I feel like it's not centered. And sure enough, it was not centered. That's okay. Every time, every time you want to know how to, how to mess a card up, just ask me. I'll show you. I'll do it the fastest way that I can. Anyways, what I would do is wrap this around first. <laughs> there we go. 
Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it, finally. After that dries, we'll be good. <laughs> okay. Phew. You can always count on me. Okay, we're gonna bring this here and I am going to get out my fresh freesia. We're going to color in this little bow or buckle, if you will. We're good there. I am also going to grab some old olive. This is the light old olive. And we're just going to use this and color it in. Now you could color it in with what I'm using as the Stampin' Blends, but you could color it in with marker, you could color it in with pencil, colored pencils, whatever you'd like. But I like using the blends because I like to give just a little bit of depth with the shadowing. And I literally just follow what Stampin' Up! does. And there we go. Nick, hold on to this because we're gonna quickly cut this out. And I say quickly because you can do it pretty quickly because it's such an easy outline. And if you accidentally go too far in or out, that's okay, we're gonna use that marker to cover up the sides so that you don't get harsh lines. And even if you have extra, like white area showing, um, you can cover that up as well. So I will show this to you. All right, so you see I have a little bit of white showing there. You can definitely see some white. I now have glue on my fingers, which makes it look pretty easy <laughs> because things are sticking. So it's easy for me to hold this, but I'm just going all the way around and you'll see that those lines are um, dark and colored in. So. I do have tips, and it does end up coming out rather nicely um, when I do finish my card. <laughs> I was so worried about not getting ink on this that I went ahead and got glue on it instead. So let me get that ribbon out. We're gonna cut off a piece, because I didn't do it right the first time. And I still want this to look the same. So I'm going to stick this in here. We're just going to take this guy and put a bow around, or a knot. At this point, you can put a bow if you want. I did that really long, but that's okay. You'll see. You know, it's so funny. Why do you find this relaxing, Jean? You're always screwing up somehow but I, because I think it's hilarious, that's why. That's why it's hilarious, because I find myself laughing all the time. But there we go, we've got that part. Now, we're gonna take that little spooky, and I got the basic gray marker, and we're just going to give these little O's and turn them in to eyes. Same here. Then we're gonna take the other tip. We're gonna give him some nice eyebrows. And then give him a little smile. You can give him some cheeks if you want. So cute. You could give him a nose if you want. Whatever you want. He's a cute little face. Now we're gonna take that little hat. We're gonna grab our mini glue dots. And this is how I go. <laughs> I just run the mini glue dot all the way till it catches, and then that's how I know that it's on the end of the hat. Right? So I take the end of the hat 
and I'm going to put him right above that face and give him a little hat. And there he is, so cute. All right, now let's wobble it. I'm going to put that down. We're going to get out our little wobblers. And if you do not know where to get these, um, I'll put a link down in the description. I get mine on Amazon. You can probably get them at any craft store as well. But, um, you know. So all I do is I take my nail and peel it off. But I must admit, I went and got my nails. Uh, oh, there we go. Um, what is it with gel and it makes your nails thicker so you just take that off you pop that on and once you get that on you just take these sides and the, the sides um, in the middle pop right up and then you take this guy put him in an angle and there you go got a little spooky guy and I must admit that uh, it came out pretty close to what it was supposed to be. Even with all the errors and the glue has dried and the glue is fine here. So we are good. The only place I have glue is on the edges of my fingers. So there you go. I hope you like this card. I had a fun time showing it to you and if you are not yet subscribed, I hope you do subscribe. If you wanted to purchase anything you see today, go ahead and go to jeanpersani.stampinup.net or you can go to beautyinthestamper.com. You could also um, sign up for the starter kit and get yourself $125 of product that you choose plus a free bundle. How fun would that be? You guys, it's only $99 plus tax. Shipping is free for that order. And you get to save 20% off your orders. So it would be great to have you on my team if you don't already have a demonstrator. I would love to be your demonstrator. All right, beauties. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.